I'm David Murphy, I'm an employment lawyer here at Fox Williams and I'm going to be talking about the extent to which employers owe their employees a, a duty, an employee duty to tell them about their employee rights and benefits. Employers have a duty under Section 1 of the Employment Rights Act to tell their employees about certain terms of their employment relationship. But that aside, there's no common law duty to, on employers to inform employees about their rights and benefits. There was one case in the early 90s where in certain quite rare circumstances, um, a court found that there was a duty on an employer to give certain information about benefits to, to a group of employees. Those circumstances are really quite rare. Um, since then, um, there have been cases which pu have pushed up the boundaries of that, but generally courts have been very reluctant to find on employers any obligation to advise or inform employees about their benefits. The one exception to that is really in relation to permanent health insurance, where because the contractual relationship is with the company typically and not the employee. Employers have a, a duty under the employed duty of mutual trust and confidence to help facilitate the payment of permanent health insurance payments where possible. But the courts have stopped short of finding any general duty on employers to support an employee in terms of their general economic well-being or protect them in terms of their financial position. However, one area where we think um, the, the case law may change in future is in relation to pension um, liabilities and in particular we see the possibility of employees bringing claims against employers uh, for breach of an applied duty in relation to the selection of their pension provider. And we think this for two reasons. Firstly, the number of people who actually opt out of their auto-enrolment pension scheme that they're enrolled into is actually really quite small. And secondly, employees are going to be putting in more and more money into their pension schemes as the legislation around percentage contribution changes. So in a few years' time, you're going to have a situation where a large number of employees are putting in large amounts of money into a pension scheme, and they've effectively relied on their employer to choose an appropriate pension provider. There are various steps we think that employers can take to protect themselves in relation to any such litigation, firstly by making it clear to individuals, both verbally and in writing, that they can't advise their employee on pension, pension aspects or indeed on other financial aspects of their relationship and their position. And secondly, um, when choosing a pension provider, commissioning a independent specialist and reputable bro pensions broker to help make recommendations and then acting on those recommendations. And thirdly, having a clear audit trail of the steps you have taken. With, that, um, with those steps taken, then it should helpfully, hopefully reduce the likelihood of um, being on the receiving end of litigation that you can't defend.